Let's imagine you are immortal. You wake up and it's yet another day. You have an infinite amount of time. You're never going to cease to exist. You ask yourself, why should I even do something right now? Why do something hard and valuable if I can just do it later? Nothing is pushing me to get it done now, so why try? Why get out of comfort? I have many more days to finally start doing something. And so you spend the whole infinity never even beginning to pursue anything. Viktor Frankl wrote, if we were immortal, we could legitimately postpone every action forever. It would be of no consequence whether or not we did a thing now. In this case, you just exist, always putting things off and trying to avoid hardships. Days are infinite, you don't value them, and they lose their meaning. As Marcus Aurelius writes, it is not death that a man should fear, but rather he should fear never beginning to live. Here comes death the single greatest invention of life. The thing that makes you do something, the thing that makes your days scarce and special. Valuable things are scarce, not infinite. Death gives value to our days. As Viktor Frankl greatly puts it, in the face of death as absolute finish to our future and boundary to our possibilities, we are under the imperative of utilizing our lifetimes to the utmost. Arthur Schopenhauer describes how mostly it is loss which teaches us about the worth of things. Despite how much you will try to appreciate the things you already have, you only understand their true value once you lose them. You never know when death will come. You never know what exactly will happen tomorrow. You must enjoy and do your best every single day of your life. Live with honor, justice and kindness. Steve Jobs said it best. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. As you come into this world, the only guarantee you have is that one day you will die, cease to exist. This realization pushes you, every day begins to matter. It is the one you'll never get back, it's gone, and gone forever. If you dislike your life, you cannot wait, there are no guarantees to how much longer you'll live. Do not wait, take action now, do what you fear act despite the fear of shame, judgment or failure. Everything, any problem or uncomfortable emotion falls apart in the face of death. When you contemplate your mortality, you understand how all the little problems you face every day don't matter. They are nothing in the face of death. In the current reality, you have absolutely nothing to lose. You weren't here for billions of years and you will not be here for even more. One thing in our lives is already certain we will all die. Death is the ultimate destination we all share. I haven't heard of anyone who escaped it. Life is beautiful. Life is special due to the fact that you will die. How ironic it is that something that gives life its beauty is what ends the life itself. Death makes us appreciate our lives. Karl Popper writes, it is the ever-present danger of losing it which helps brings home to us the value of life. The understanding that your days are numbered, that death is coming for us all can help you zoom out, make you understand how pointless it is to worry about all the little problems you have right now. Self-doubt, anxiety, pride, shame, failure and opinions of others are absolutely nothing compared to death. Don't waste too much of your time on them. We spend our days worrying about things that never end up happening. We worry about inconveniences that do not matter in the large scheme of things. As Seneca put it, we suffer more in imagination than in reality. A quote that describes much of human existence. An ability to reflect on the past and contemplate on the future is a gift and a curse all of us humans share. To that future, there is an end. To everything, there is an end. It's painful. The end of everything for us is coming and you never know when exactly it will happen. In our society, we can't seem to agree on anything. Some people still think the earth is flat. But there's one thing certain for all of us, death. No one gets out alive. I suggest you develop a sense of urgency and desperation. Do things now, start something now. You never know when will be your last opportunity to do something you always wanted to. Understand that all the people around you are mortal just like you. Appreciate them every time you talk, enjoy every single moment. You cannot make them stay with you forever. 
See mortality in every person you encounter. Your time with them is limited and you must enjoy it. Let every conversation you have be the best it could be. For a second, I want you to think how insane it is to actually be alive. What is even going on in this world? It's a mystery you get to enjoy. The chances of you being here were very close to zero. But here you are watching this video, enjoying life. Be grateful for waking up each day. Be truly grateful. I mean it. You never know when it will be your last time. Every day is special. Waking up is a gift. Don't take it for granted. Remember the shortness of life. Think of all the people that are already gone. Time is passing with every minute. Your time is passing. Don't treat time as you're immortal, because you're not. There's no yesterday and no tomorrow, only today. You're dying every second of your life. That time, you'll never get it back. It's dead. Gone forever. You cannot change what you've done, only do your best in the present. Marcus Aurelius says, Do not act as if you had 10,000 years to throw away. Death stands at your elbow. Be good for something while you live, and it is in your power. Death inspires us to live properly, to not lose time. Everything becomes much more valuable if it has an end. Embrace it to live a much more meaningful life, to truly value the things that surround you. It was a pleasure to create this video, and I wish you a wonderful day.